Welcome to the 2015 NCHA Great American Insurance Group Summer Spectacular. It's been a great night tonight. It's the final of the uh, five and six year old Open. And I've got the winner with me, Jesse Lennox, who rode Boon Sand Spoon with a 225. Well done. A career highlight for you tonight, Jesse. Oh, thank you. Um, I just want to thank all the people responsible for getting me here. Uh, it's been a long road and a lot of people put a lot of hard work into me. Uh, I especially want to thank Alice Walton. Um, she's really stepped in and, and supported me and, and sent me down the road and, and really worked with me a lot and been my eyes on the ground and helping me work these horses. And, and I really appreciate everything she's done and, and our relationship and, and her raising these good horses for me to ride. Um, I want to thank Lee Francois. Uh, he's really taken me in and, and looked after me the whole time, my whole show career down here. Uh, Jonathan Rogers, Casey Green, and Michael Cooper, all my help. Uh, they're such a good group of guys and have really, they really hold my hand down there and I really appreciate it. None of this would happen without them. Um, Ernesto uh, Mandolin, uh, Mandelin, uh, he got the horse ready. He's been getting my horses ready. Um, for the last year uh, and does an amazing job. I'm really lucky to get to ride behind him. So tell us about your game plan. The cattle were pretty tough and big tonight. What were you thinking uh, was going to be a strategy coming into it? Well, I, I was excited uh, for both mares. Uh, I felt like I had two horses that were definitely good enough. Um, it was just going to be which, which had the luck. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I was uh, smooth and, and aggressive on that ca those cuts and, and didn't let those cows think they could push too hard because they came at us so hard tonight. And uh, I really just tried to go for it like it was the last time I was going to show them, you know, because uh, it very well might be, you know. Um, and uh, and I just knew I had the horsepower. I knew they'd be smart. And, and uh, um, Lee and Michael and Cooper and Jonathan Rogers and uh, everybody uh, and Lee and Casey, they all talked me down and slowed me down and, and kept me thinking smart showing and uh, those those horses just really took over for me tonight. So tell us about Boon Sand Spoon. What makes her a champion? Uh, well, I guess it'd be a combination of how smart she is, how fast she is, and how strong she is. You know, she's a big mare. She's almost 15 hands, uh, you know, and uh, she's just such a strong, smart horse. You know, I just, I felt like the whole time I never felt like I was ever at a horse, I always felt like I could ride to the next stop just as hard. And that's a crazy feeling for that long on those tough of cows. Well, it's obviously a really poignant win for you tonight because, as many people have heard, Alice Walton is calling it a day. She's uh, selling up and you've just given her a big high to be able to farewell the industry on. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, we've been, we've been trying for a long time and... Uh, uh, I know she, this is something she really wanted. Uh, she really wanted for me and, and for her horses, and, and I just always really hoped I'd be able to someday give it to her. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, time was running out, and uh, I'm really glad it, it worked out this way, you know. So tell us about um, the time you've spent with her, because you started, you're only 26 now. You haven't been cutting all that long. Uh, is it about seven years or so? Tell us your story with Alice. Uh, yeah, um, what happened is uh, Casey Green got me to move down here, and uh, and then uh, where, we, where we were working at uh, didn't work out, and so he sent me over to Alice Walton's and uh, Tony Piggott to be Tony's assistant, and uh, Tony's a great guy, um, and uh, it was a lot of fun working for him, and uh, um, I remember the first night I met Alice, she cooked me some wild boar stew, and... Uh, I bet you never had that before. No, ma'am, I had, and her and I immediately hit it off, and uh, and uh, she just uh, has totally been behind me since. You're from Canada. I hear that you did consider a, a career as a professional hockey player. Do you uh, have no regrets now? Well, I mean, uh, you know, I, I guess I wasn't quite big or strong or fast enough for hockey, uh, and uh, um, it's a lot of fun, really great game, and... Um, uh, but uh, I, I do love this. So describe how you feel right now with the biggest uh, win of your career. Uh, well, I'm, I'm just relieved, I guess, and, and, and excited that it worked and, and just really thankful. 
Uh, thankful to everyone who got me here and, and all my help for keeping me under control because I can get a little hard to handle in those sorts of situations, so I, I really owe it to them. Well, congratulations. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.